Hey everyone, I am sitting in a tree. I love sitting in trees. Um, the main reason I love sitting in trees is because they're so sturdy and um, look, it just like, it goes, I don't know if you can see, it just goes on and on and it's so astounding that this beautiful creation of nature is so supportive and, you know, who knows what this tree has seen, it's been here forever. Um, so, day 11, wow. Uh, for anyone that's interested in numerology, uh, 11 is the number of the divine. And so I thought that it would be nice to honor that in this video. So what I wanted to talk about today is um, basically when I'm thinking and talking about life with other people, I've noticed um, there's two very, um, very strong ends of the spectrum of belief systems. So I'll explain to you the two ends and then where I fall. Um, or whatever so um, one end is that these this group of people believes that um, everything is of divine order and um, we are just actors acting out our lives and we have no say whatsoever in anything at all and um, you know we're part of a bigger orchestra that we just don't understand and the other side of the spectrum is that our thoughts create our reality and um, you know we are the ultimate controllers of our destiny so I understand both of them and I believe both of them and upon contemplation I was kind of thinking about is there a way to combine? Is there a way to combine them to um, maybe it's not so dualistic, maybe it's more of this and that instead of this or that? Um, and I think it's also important to understand that our lives are mostly subconscious. N about 90% of our body is a subconscious activity. So, for example, um, when we eat something, we do not think about where it's going in our body. You know, we don't think, tell our body, all right, now please send these enzymes to my body so that uh, I can digest this food properly. And then, you know, we don't think about that. That's subconscious. Um, same way that, I mean, if you like touch someone, then cells like fly, they rub off, they go away. Um, we don't, we don't think about, well, I have made a conscious effort to breathe consciously um and that has helped my whole whole if you can do nothing else for it, like try just <sighs> breathing consciously deep breaths and i promise you your life will change it's amazing um i feel very 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 if any no anxiety at all um i'm able to go into uh large groups of people and not feel fear I can as long as I keep my breath with me I feel like I can do anything and with that being said I'm breathing now <laughs> um, yeah so um, yeah but what I was saying was that typically we don't think about breathing um, it's just something that happens subconsciously so um, I think that's it's important when we're thinking about our thoughts and do our thoughts create our reality? Well, perhaps, but 90% of ourself is subconscious. So if our thoughts are going to create our reality, it's going to be the subconscious thoughts that create our reality, not the conscious ones. You know, you can try as hard as you want um, to, you know, I'm going to lose five pounds or I'm going to like go work out or something or other. But like, oh, look, there's a dog. Say hi to the dog. Hi! <laughs> There's a cute little dog underneath us. Um, so, it's if our thoughts do create our reality, it's going to be the 90% or maybe even 50%. You know, there's just more subconscious thoughts than um, conscious thoughts. So, I don't, I don't really know if we can actually say that our thoughts create our reality, but I 
am also very interested in quantum physics and um, basically I was it's so funny because I remember so clearly when I was in like grade three or something I would just be like um, I think I was in a math class or something and we were talking oh we were learning about like uh, the dimensions of geometry like like this is a 3d shape and this is um, this is like a 2d you know flat shape and I remember I think her name is Miss Levy I raised my hand I'm like I have a question she's like yeah and I was like do you believe in the 10th dimension and she's like what what are you talking and I was just like oh okay I don't I don't even know where that came from honestly oh look there's more people under us there's a cute little baby hi <laughs> Um, and I asked her and, and she was like, she just was like, I don't, I don't know how to answer this. I'm going to let it be. So I was like, okay, um, that, that's fine. But anyway, so, um, I've always been interested in sciences. I, that did not, definitely did not show on my, uh, something in my hair that did, the, my science interest did not show in my, uh, grades at school, but you know, there's a time and a place for everything. I think I was more interested in not being in school than being in school um mostly because i just like didn't i didn't really care or believe what the teachers had to say like it was just so irrelevant to me like why do i need to know this like textbook fact and like regurgitate it to you you know i didn't feel like i was actually learning anything although i was good like i was able to do that really well but it didn't do like i wasn't interested at all anyway what i was saying um so quantum um quantum physics and so basically everything is happening at the same time um you know i could be sitting like down there right now and making this video i could be like over there you know everything is happening at the same time and it's just our choices that anchor us in our reality so um let's say like i made the choice to sit on a tree so this is like what's happening now but then in like another dimension there is like me you know doing um and doing the same thing over there and over there and 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 i mean if you take into consideration the fact that time does not exist it's just kind of a figment um that we create and if we think about the choices that we make and you know oh how different would i be if i made this choice or how different would i be you know what would i look like if i made this choice oh look there's runners there's so many people here today yay hi everyone <laughs> um you know what would i be look like what would i look like if i was like running right now what would i you know and there's just so many possibilities that we will never know and i mean take into consideration the t fact that time is not actual time is manufactured and um not natural occurrence so if you look around and you see all of these people that made these different choices than you and you say this is what I would look like if I if I made this choice and if I made this choice but we um, we did not we made the choice to be in ourself right now um, so you could take a look around and say see yourself in everyone um, and that kind of brings back well is it is it um is that a choice is that my my thought creating my reality or is that divine um and i thought about the other day uh i was actually sitting over there whoo, over there and um i was trying to f maybe contemplate blending these two these two ideas together and i don't no, I asked the universe, I said, please, like, show me a sign, show me, like, what, what is this thing? And I, I mean, we will never know. We will never know for sure. It's, we can only speculate. But um, I went back on my bike and I said, all right, I'm just going to ride now. And I was breathing in that beautiful air. And um, then a thought came in my head that said, why do you think you control your thoughts? Is it because you're so close to them that you that you don't know otherwise? I just got a text, sorry. Um, <laughs> lol. I'm working tonight, cool. Um, anyways, so do we control our thoughts? I think, or is that divine also? You know, why, if everything is divine, then w what would make our thoughts different? Um, 
and that was a real eye-opener to me and I know that's not that's not like the answer to anything or you know the be all that's just like a, a beginning of something I don't know why yet but after I had that uh, realization a few um, a few weeks ago I kind of I felt a little bit lighter and I had more faith in myself and trust in the universe um, although since then m my life has seemingly fall apart fell apart a little bit um, but I think that when something seemingly falls apart that's just you know construction time to build something new so um, yeah that's what I wanted to share with you today also there is one more thing that I find of the utmost importance I am so grateful for everyone who has watched these videos and especially those who have reached out to me on various different levels and I am so honored and I love you so much seriously this support is unlike anything I could have imagined I am so grateful for you and I really hope um, to connect more with everyone because um, that's what I love doing. I love connecting with people and you know sharing my thoughts and um, you know bouncing ideas off of each other and please like make response videos you know text me email me do whatever you want. I'm totally here and open and I love you so much so peace. I hope everyone has the best day and I will see you on another day.